Good morning, students. I hope you all are fine with the grace of Almighty. Students, this is your social study period now. Today, we will give the review of the chapter 5, that is the Plato's. What is a Plato? A Plato is the table land with a flat top raised above the surrounding land. This is the definition. So, its surface is often rocky. Students, the peninsular plateau. Peninsular plateau is divided into three parts. Okay. The first part is the Malwa plateau and the Chodanagpur plateau. Then it is Deccan plateau. And the last one is Southern Plateau. Okay. So, it is located between the three mountain ranges. That is, Western Ghats. In the, uh, it form its western boundary. And the Eastern Ghat, this uh, Eastern Ghats form its eastern boundary. And the Satpura range. Okay. And the Satpura and Vindhya ranges. Okay. It is this. Uh, it is separated from the Gangetic plains to the north. By the Satpura and the Vindhya ranges. Okay students. So. Now. The, uh, this is the location. And uh, the another thing is, it is it lies between the three mountain ranges. That is, the location is what I said. That is, Western Ghats, Eastern Ghats, and the uh, it is separated from the Gangetic Gangetic Plain by. Satpura and Vindhya ranges. Understand? Okay. Now, the North Western Plateau. What is North Eastern Plateau? The North Western Plateau is Malwa Plateau. Okay. The North Western Plateau is also known as Malwa Plateau and it lies between the Aravali ranges and the Vindhya range. That is Aravali Ranges and the Vindhya Hills. Bundelkhand and the Bhagalkhand are two extensions of the Malwa Plateau. Okay, Malwa's Plateau is spread across the Rajasthan, Madhya Pradesh and Gujarat. Okay, and the river drained here is Chambal River and its tributaries. The western part is drained by the upper reaches of the Mahi river. Okay. So this uh, region is ex experienced a very hot climate in summer. Winter are cool here and rainfall is scanty. So, therefore, thick forests are not found here. Cotton, wheat, oil seeds are grown here. Now, the North Eastern Plateau, the Chotanagpur Plateau. The Chotanagpur Plateau, that means North Eastern Plateau. It's extend to, it's extend into um, Chhattisgarh, then Jharkhand and the parts of Odisha, where it is known as Chotanagpur Plateaus. And uh, this plateau, on this plateau, the Rajmahal Hills extend as far as West Bengal. Okay, students. So, this plateau is drained by the rivers like Mahanadi, then the Damodar, the Subarna Rekha and the Brahmani. 
ओके द छोटा नागपुर प्ले टू इन द झारखंड इज ट्रेन बाय द दामोदर एंड सुबर्ण रेखा एंड इट इज वेरी रिच इन मिनरल्स दिस रीजन इज नोन फॉर आयरन एंड स्टील इंडस्ट्री व्हिच इज लोकेटेड इन जमशेदपुर बोकारो एंड रोलकेला ओके स्टूडेंट्स नाउ to the south of the chatisgarh the chatisgarh uh, plain it lies the hills of bastar hirakun dams across the mahanadi in odisha is useful for irrigation then hydroelectricity and flood control okay now come on to deccan plateau the deccan plateau lies to the south of into gangetic plain okay and the uh, can that means in sanskrit it is dakshin okay the meaning is the south the plateau is bounded with the western ghats and the eastern ghats okay western ghats on the west and the eastern ghat on uh, by the on the east so the southernmost portion of the plateau is drained by the river kaveri and uh, karnataka and karnataka and break through the nilgiri hills at hoganagal falls at hoganagal falls into tamil nadu then it forming the shiva samudram falls as the second biggest falls in india and in world its position is 16th okay which falls shiva samudram falls the two main rivers which do not flow into the bay of bengal that is the narmada and the tapi river where it falls it falls into urban sea the deccan plateau is made of black lava black lava soil okay and this is very fertile soil and uh, it is famous for cotton cultivation now the southern plateau the region extend from the river krishna to the far south the eastern and the western ghat meet at the nilgiri hills which is the highest hill which is the highest in the south india further south lie in the kadamam hills okay the palghat gap that lies between the nilgiri hills and the kadamam hills the rivers have formed deep valley in this region okay and the saravati river has met which falls jog falls and it is also known as garsappa hills garsappa falls okay so uh saravati rivers meet which river which falls jog falls and it is also known as garsappa falls understand student yes the kaveri is the most important river in this region and the metu dam metu dam it is on kaveri river okay the largest irrigation project in the southern region okay now we should know the importance of the plateau regions the black soil in the region is good for the cultivation of so of uh, cotton then uh, all seeds and millets the region has the generous share of minerals mineral deposits such as iron gold copper mica and it is also rich in coal it is also rich in coal as well okay 
and uh, this has result in the setting up of many industries in this region. Okay.